Hey y'all, it's your friend D, and I have a small haul for you guys today. I have items from the Dollar Tree and from Walmart. And before I get to that, I do want to say to everyone, please stay safe and warm. I know there's some bad weather going across the United States, and of course, you know, it's right before Christmas, so don't let it ruin your holiday. Um, where I live, the temperature is going to get down to four degrees. So, um, wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful holiday and you stay safe. Now, let's get into this. First, from the Dollar Tree, I found the square candle holder, guys. And, of course, we're going to use it as a table. And we already have the triangle one back here. And I haven't found the circle yet or the round one. Also, from the Dollar Tree, I found these lip balms shaped like drinks. Uh, we have a mocha latte and a passion fruit punch. So let's take them out of the package. So here's the mocha latte. It looks like a little coffee cup. And I think it's better suited for like a 16 to 8 inch doll. Maybe even a smart doll. And there's the lip balm inside. But I just thought the packaging was really cute. This one is the passion fruit punch and it comes with a little straw, looks like some fake ice. And then there's the lip balm on that one. I got one of these blind balls from the Dollar Tree. I have never bought these and I was curious as to what was in it. So I'm gonna open it and let's see. Okay, so we got the wrapper off and we get this little green guy. Okay. Well, that's that. Since the Dollar Tree Blonde Ball was a little bit disappointing, I'm so glad that Walmart had fashion minis for $5. Guys, a lot of the toys at Walmart are going on clearance. So these are now $5 and I got two of them. I didn't go crazy. Because this is still Series 1. Um, my Walmart doesn't have Series 2 yet. So let's open these. Okay, here's our first ball. And I want to open the purse first. And if you're curious and you don't know about these, the original price is um, at Walmart is, I believe either $7.97 or $9.97. I know they usually run close to $10. So let's see here. Okay, I have this one already, but I'm okay with it. So that's how this one looks. Let's look at the accessories. And of course you get the, the collector's guide. So with this one you get, I don't think I have this dog. You get this little guy. And I don't have this. You get the lotion. Focus. At least I'm saying it's lotion. <laughs> and you get, I guess this is lipstick. I don't have this either. So I got some new things in this, even though I got a duplicate purse. So let's get to the, here's our second ball. And am I the only one who has trouble getting the plastic off of these? But let's open this one. And, okay, those are the accessories. Here's our purse. Uh, this is a duplicate also, but it's okay. Uh, we can find something to do with it. But there's that one, and this opens like that. It has a chain in it. So cute little purse. And got the collector's guide. Let's see what accessories we got. Oh, I forgot the sticker in the other one. Did it come with a sticker? I don't remember the sticker being in the other one. Huh. 
So we got another dog. Same kind of dog, just a, this one's tan, the other one was a darker brown. A little chihuahua. We got the glasses, which I actually do like. I have several of these and they open. And we got a brush. Oh, and then the other one, we did get a sticker. We got the <laughs> sticker for the purse we just opened. <laughs> Next from Walmart, I got this cute little Santa jacket. And I paid $2.48 for this. And also in that section, this was a, yeah, this was an ornament. And this was over in the ornament section. And one of the associates was cleaning up in the area. And this had, uh, broken off an ornament and I asked if I could have it and she said yeah so shout out to that associate thanks but I'm gonna see if I can fit this on one of my Ken dolls so guys I did get it on the doll um, a couple of things with this is the hanger this was glued onto it so I had to really take my time to pull pull it off of the hanger without ripping it with the glue and also the sleeves were glued to the side, so I had to cut it very slowly to make sure I didn't rip it. So as you can see, the sleeves are pretty long on him. You can't see his, his hand through it. But other than that, I think it actually fits okay. It, it, it is a little big. Um, they didn't have any pants over in that uh, section in the ornaments. And there's glitter on this. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but it's not a lot. But all in all, I like it. I think it's cute. It, you had to be careful getting it on the doll, though, because it does not have any stretch. I also got this fashion pack. Uh, this was $3. A lot of their fashion packs were marked down to $3 or $7. Um, from what I could see, the $7 ones were the two, um, the packs that you got two outfits in, and the $3 ones were the single outfits. And for some reason, when I scanned this one, it scanned $3. And it was the only one that I found like this. So let's try this on the doll. And here's the first outfit. It's like this shirt dress, and it has little ties on the side here. And it comes with these pink sneakers, which I really like because I don't have these. So those are neat. Has the lace detail there. It's the same outfit with the fanny pack. Which I think that's pretty neat. And it has like a little zipper detail on it there. And in the back, it has several places to snap it so if you have a doll that has a smaller waist you can make the belt smaller so that's kind of cute here's the second outfit it's a little black skirt with some orange stitching faux pockets so there's not any real pockets there it has an elastic waist and it comes with this little orange shirt and I wish they would find a different way to Put the outfits in the packaging because those little plastic stays they put leave holes in the garment but here's the back so it's pretty simple velcros there so guys i found ash i think he is so adorable he has the little uh earphones or ear pods and both outfits are there. His box is really damaged and has tape on it. So I don't know that if that's why he was clearanced out, but um, he was $8, so I think a good deal. Uh, this is my second Rainbow High doll. So I'm gonna get him out of the box. So here he is out of the box. And if you follow the Rainbow High series, you know that he goes to Shadow High and so he comes with a, with a stand and a hair comb. Let's bring him closer. You see his hair 
has silver hair at the top and flocking, black flocking um, around the sides. You can see it has like a design shaved in, just a line on both sides, and his little ear pods are so cute. I love his face. And as far as the outfit that he comes in, there's a lot of pieces here. So he has this jacket with um, faux zippers on it and all of these pockets and just a lot of detail. The snap here actually works. He has a t-shirt on underneath. And this, it is a short sleeve t-shirt. And then he has these pants on with an elastic waist and a drawstring. His pants has pockets here. I don't know if they're real pockets. Oh yeah, they're real pockets, guys. And here are his shoes. Well, I took the sand out, but I'll show you the back of his jacket. And it says Shadow High. And I'm not sure what type of writing that is. I don't want to um, say I know and then, you know, say the wrong thing. Um, but yeah, so there he is. So he comes with a second outfit and a second pair of shoes. Let me see if I can get it to focus. So these are the second pair of shoes. And guys, I just realized on the bottom, it actually says right and left. That is so cool. So here's the second outfit, and I still have it on the plastic form that it came on. Um, but I wanted to give you a closer look of what it looks like all together. So I'll take it, uh, each one, up, uh, off the form and give you a closer look. So here's the jacket. Well, his extra jacket. And it does have little... These are faux pockets. And I think that's a faux pocket also. And if you hear a noise, guys, that's because the wind is really picking up outside. It says Shadow High. Here's the t-shirt that was with the second outfit. And once again, those little plastic stays that keep it in the packaging Kind of put holes in the, the clothes. And it Velcros in the back. And here's the pants and the shorts, which are two separate pieces. So he could wear them separately. And here's the shorts. So it has SH for Shadow High. And these are real pockets. Do these work? Oh, wow, they actually work. <laughs> and the pants, it's like they Velcro in the back and they have these faux zippers at the knee. So that's pretty cool. So guys, I went back to Walmart this morning and the roads were actually pretty good. Um, there, there was some ice, but it wasn't bad. So when I got there, I was looking in the toy section and an employee told me they moved all of the clearance toys to the garden section. So this is where, it's like a big greenhouse where they keep a lot of the summer plants. Um, but yeah, I was, me and like one other person with her daughter were the only people in this section. The rest of the store was packed. And I know I saw people with carts full of toys, but they weren't over in this section. <laughs> so I thought this was pretty neat that they pulled them. Um, and so there was an entire cart of Barbie dolls. So I went back to Walmart this morning and I did get a few things. Uh, one of them was this Barbie. She is the paramedic Barbie. So let's take her out of the packaging. So here she is out of the packaging, and since my main doll on the channel, Tanja, 
is a nurse. I thought this doll would be a good addition since she is a paramedic. Um, but she comes with this her stethoscope. And I'm not sure what her shirt says there. But pretty basic outfit. Your hair was tied down and in the box. Black pants. She has a little medical bag here. Looks like it opens on the top. And she comes with black boots. And I don't have boots like this yet, so that's pretty neat. And the next thing I got was more mini fashion. So <laughs> let's get into these. Okay, so here's our first ball. And guys, while I was in the store, they were actually uh, starting to close down. Apparently, all the freezers were losing power. So, I was lucky to already be in the checkout line um, when they decided to close the store. So, here's the purse. And these were still ringing up $5. Okay, this is a double for me also. But I don't mind doubles. So this one, yeah, it opens like that. Has a little keychain. With a little key hanging on it. Put that right there. Here's the guide. And let's see the accessories. have this purse and we got another lipstick I don't have this one it's a red lipstick we'll pick that up later and we have the jar I don't have this And another pair of sunglasses. Here's our second ball. And guys, they still have plenty of these left, so I'm not sure why people aren't buying these uh, at the reduced price. Here's the collector's guide. Let's see, those are accessories. Clean up my trash. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Yes, I finally found you. Finally. So, this is the green purse with the faux zipper. And here's the inside. So it has a strap for a shoulder bag or you can carry it by the handles. Yes, I wanted this one. And where's the accessories? Okay. What sticker did we get? Okay, I already have this bag. And it sounds like here the, the wind is picking up again. Let me know in the comments uh, what, what the weather is like where you live. Is that everything? Yeah. So here we got another brush, a perfume bottle. I don't have this one. I think I have either the gold or a pink color. And a wallet. This is my first time getting the wallet. Okay, so it doesn't open. It just can't put anything in it, but the flap does move. Okay, so here's number three. Accessories. There's the guide. There's the purse. Okay, I have this bag already. It's just a cute little 
drawstring bag. So we have this one, but I don't mind duplicates, so that's, that's good. Let's see what accessories we have. Oh, here's the pink version of the green bag we just got. I would like to have that bag. And we got, I think I already have this, but multiples of makeup and, and things like this look good on counters in the, in doll rooms and in dioramas. So that's neat. I think that's lip gloss, another pair of sunglasses and a perfume bottle. I think I already have this too, but like I said, these look good as clutter and just little extra items in the room. Okay. Here's our last ball. Here's the guide. Okay, these are the accessories. <laughs> so we have another one of these, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I can always um, find something to do with the duplicates. And so I'm not bothered by this, actually. So there's that purse again. And the accessories we got. Let's see another pair of glasses and another dog here we go and what sticker okay I have this purse already too and it's a pretty one and the last thing is another brush so I think next time I go to Walmart if they still have some of these left I'll keep grabbing them. Hopefully the price continues to drop and eventually my store will get series two. Thank you guys for watching and remember to stay safe and warm this holiday weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.